we made the announcement of, you know several months ago but over the last two years this has kind of been in the works so it feels like we're planning this enormous wedding or something that you just anticipate for for months and months on it uh, and we're just you know, really excited about it the carolinas have always been dominated by football and basketball but it was the Charlotte Checkers that brought the spark to bring hockey down here to the southeast. And they were the first big league team when they started in 56 when they opened that new Coliseum. And when we played, we were the only game in town. It got the city on the map, put it there. Even though the city is geared more towards its major league sports franchises, this minor league hockey team is staying around and not going anywhere. I think we're just going to um, really get Charlotte to appreciate the game and, and how exciting hockey is because it is a very non-traditional market. Logos and personnel may have changed over the years, but the team still has the same charm and draw of years past. When we played, everybody wanted to see a fight. I mean, the, East Coast uh, Hockey League at that time was known for a bunch of brawling, and we certainly did. The Checkers are considered by some to be Charlotte's team, being around longer than the Panthers and Bobcats combined. This year they are moving up into the American Hockey League to be directly under the Carolina Hurricanes. This new look team looks to take their city back. It's the best entertainment value in Charlotte. It's a really good time for hockey in Charlotte. With WCSB News, this is Scott Malak.